Well, the turn in the weather may have a lot of people itching to start turning the soil. Most Buffalo's Dave McKinley is looking in today on how much more you might be paying this year to have a garden, which things might be in short supply. Well, Catherine, after last weekend's washout, you can bet that it's going to be like Black Friday at garden centers like this one throughout West of New York. But as you head out to join the crowds, you should be prepared to pay more than you ever have. At Russell's Tree and Shrub, manager Chris Zeiss says the typical gardener might be spending 10% more than last year, and that's on top of the price hike seen in previous years. The reasons are much the same, inflation and the additional costs that garden centers like these have to bear to supply products. I mean, diesel fuel really has not come down yet, so a big cost to all this stuff is, is the, the shipping and that, that hasn't changed. Um, the heating for the greenhouses, it comes down to labor too. See, everybody's getting paid more and, and it just, it falls from there. But Jackie Alvarella, who hosts our popular To The Garden series, thinks despite the increased costs, gardeners will not be dissuaded. People who become gardeners, like they're crazy people. They get really passionate, and even though the price goes up, they still want those six baskets of geraniums to hang across their porch, or the four baskets of fern, or they want to buy their tomato plants from plants because they don't want to go through the trouble of starting them from seed. So uh, they're willing to pay the price. Meanwhile, Zeiss tells us also that while they have supplies, while they last, there may eventually be shortages of peat moss and certain types of mulch, meaning you may not be able to get the type you normally do. As for certain types of shrubs that may be in high demand, there is one, and that has to do with how many of them were lost during the Christmas blizzard. We'll have more about that coming up on the Town Hall at 530. Dave Pickettley, Channel 2 News.